I've seen Hanish in here before. So it could definitely be him. Yeah, it is. Well, I guess we'll talk to him. See what he's got going on. Greetings. What business have you? Oh. What? Henry. Just the man I want to see. I need help with something. What's the problem, sir? The Archbishop's vicar has come to Ujitz. I don't know why exactly, but the rumor is that he's on the hunt for heretics, which frankly never meant any good, especially for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not really up on religious ranks, sir. What does a vicar do, exactly? You don't have to apologize. It's the devil's own work to make sense of their twisted hierarchy. The vicar is short for vicarious, meaning in place of. He has full power to act on his superior's behalf. I see. In this case, sadly, the superior in question is that nincompoop, Archbishop Zbigniew Hare of Hassenburg. What a name. What should I do about him, then? Firstly, find out why he's really here. He might truly be on the hunt for heretics, which wouldn't be good news. Or it's equally possible he's here to size up my estate, which would be even worse. I understand. And then what? The best thing for me and all concerned would be for him to pack his bags and go back to Prague. And how can I, um, encourage him to do that? I can't just kick him out, can I? No, of course not. But if you can make him believe there's nothing to find here, he'll be off in no time. So tell him... I've sent you to assist him. I understand. And my task is to assist him in finding nothing. Indeed. Oh, sounds pretty fun. And what if there really are heretics? My boy, my boy. Have you ever seen a heretic? No. There, you see. I haven't either. Most of the time the prelates just invent them to scare folk with. So don't put much faith in their existence. But... But what if there really are some? Then deal with them. But make sure that interfering bastard gets out of here. Okay. I'm on it, boss. Very well. I'll get going straight away. Good luck, lad. And be careful. Clergymen are wily weasels. So take care. I'll be careful. Don't worry, Sir Hannes. God be with you. Waldensians. We learned about that guy. A name that I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce. We need to go talk to the vicar. Where's he at? Do I have a marker for him? I should. Whoa! What? I have to go all the way up to Ujits for this. I wanted to... Can I talk to him again? Yeah, I can. I met the Paris... I don't remember meeting him. I guess we'll say that. Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujitz, and I must say he's a very interesting man. I should say so. Have you ever seen him at swordplay? Not bad for a man of the cloth, is he? Oh. Rumor has it, when he finished his studies at the university where his father sent him, he decided the religious life wasn't for him, and vanished to foreign parts. They say he made a living as a mercenary. I even heard he fought against the Turk at the Battle of Kosovo. And then he suddenly came back and settled down here. No doubt it cost his family plenty, but he's a fair man and I'm fond of him. There's a lot to be said for a priest with a good understanding of vice. He's talking about that cool good guy. Good luck then. The bald one. The Battle of Kosovo. Kosovo? Yeah, Kosovo. Okay, well, looks like we have a date with the vicar up in Ujits. So I'm going to go ahead and travel up north. And we'll go see... Uh, what he's up to, I guess. I don't know if I've ever seen or done this quest. But it sounds really interesting. And it gives us something to do. Wasn't there another quest in Rite, though? Yeah, yeah. That has to be the... Oh, who the hell's that? Man, we got to get on some of these. A bunch of them. Look at them all. I've not been doing these. Huh. Yeah. It's been a long time. I wonder if Ginger made it back to Neuhof. I might go stop in at the 
farm area and check. Hey, there's still guards here? Was that a guard I seen? It came from over here. Yeah, there are guards stationed here. Nice. Well, that's good to know. Hopefully, <laughs> they don't ever get raided again. Yeah, but yeah, it'd be nice to see what that stable lady has. Maybe we can pick something up for... Yeah, there's a ton of guards still here. Holy crap. Most of them, I'd say. Bernard's horse? What? Bernard's back at... What? Can I take that? Why is that still here? I'm so confused. Ginger? Oh, he is here. Cool, I'm gonna talk to him. Hey! Hey! Oh! How are you doing? Good. Good. No one's trying to cut my throat, and I've got a proper roof over my head again. I'm glad it worked out for you. Sometimes, when I go to the courtyard at night, and there's a sudden movement or sound, it makes me jump, but it's just a memory. You told me you'd teach me something useful. Aye, and I keep my word. What? He just gave me a hundred bucks. I need to teach you something useful, like how to walk past a door, Ginger. Come on, dude. There you go. Here, do you need me to open this one for you? That one's locked. Okay, he set down his thing. Hey, can I come in here? Thanks. Don't mind if I have a little bite to eat. I want to pick some of these uh, chests open. Eh, probably not the best idea right now, though. What do we got over here? Hey, check that out. That's something we can open up. What's our lock picking level, I wonder? Uh, skills lock picking is level 8. Not too shabby. Here, let me turn this music down a bit. Pater Noster, qui es in celis. Oh, that's a little bit better. Music's ending, I think. Oh no, it's still going. Hopefully, we don't get in trouble for this. If we do, we're in all of our gear, so we can probably weasel our way out of it, which is cool. Uh, we don't need any food. We have all of our rolls still. I'll close that. And open this back door. Ooh, apples though. Apples are so useful for the health. Mm, I'm gonna take them. They kind of live on like a farm. I'm sure they got an orchard somewhere. So they probably won't miss those too much. A little back area. God, I love this game. I just love how realistic it is. Like, I love walking out and you just see like a huge stack of wood. Like it just makes sense. What's that? It's like a banner or something. It's been torn down. Anyway, enough messing around. Let me go talk to this lady over here. Anybody around here train? Jacob. Can't even talk to Jacob. Azora. Pupper. Don't do it. Don't do it, Pupper. Alright, fine. I'll leave you alone. Zora, get over here. God's blessings. Thanks. I'm looking for work. Oh. Interesting. Training horsemanship? Yeah. Uh, we don't really have a ton of coins, so let's not. Take care. I want to check out some of this. We have 510. I want to see if I can sell her. Uh, no. Can't sell her anything, really. Can sell her my silly pointed green hat, but... I'd rather hold on to that, I think. Anything in here that's got to go? That can go. Uh, do you have anything particularly cool? Golden spurs. We have to get these. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Night spurs. These have to be better, right? 20. 15. Oh my god, I want those so badly. We could probably rob her. Uh, I'm not gonna hack her. I think that she might have a chest around here that like her loot goes in when she's asleep. Could even be this one. No. Um. I don't know, it's something to think about. If we ever get like super rich, or like stupid rich I'd say. Uh, we'll come back and get some golden spurs, that might be nice. Just a huge buff on what we currently have. I think we have silver. Yeah, we have silver, which is only 17. That's not even that bad. 
17 charisma. Oh, those are worth a thousand. Christ alive, that's a lot. What's that? Arrows. Oh yeah, I did the uh, the archery yeah. thing and it unequipped my arrows. Yeah, so it looks like these guys are doing alright. I go just north from here, right? I think so. Uh, Neuhoff. Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna have to go through a big yeah. ass forest, but no worries. I think we can go talk to Bernard at any point, and he'll give us a location to some bandits that we can kill for money. So I might start doing that for some extra cash on the side, and it's also really good training for our stealth. So maybe next time in Rite, I'll grab one of those, or a couple if you can, just so we have them on the map. Hold on a minute, that's an interesting something. I may have already run into this. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Holy shit. What are you doing here? Oh fuck. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for yelling. That scared the living shit out of me. Why'd you ask? Can I not take a walk in the woods without being accosted? I ask because I'm the gamekeeper here, and it's my job to protect these woods from poachers. Well, I'm certainly not poaching. In that case, you won't mind if I have a look what you've got on you. Not a chance, dude. Not a chance. You're not going to rummage around in my things. That's as good as a confession to me. You'll come with me to the jailhouse. <laughs> you wish. Put up a resistance. Can't we make a deal? I'm not paying him. And what if I don't go? Then I'll make you. Try it. Here, check this number out. Yeah. See ya. I'll ring your neck. No, you won't. Not yeah. while I have Jenda. God, I love this horse. Jenda, you're amazing. Just gets me out of every jam. I almost had a heart attack back there. Christ. My chest is like still thumping from that guy. He came out of nowhere. Mm. Gotta be more aware of my surroundings so I don't get jump scared like that. Out of the camp. Still yeah. under combat. Where's this camp at? Right here. Do people live here? Where'd that guy go? <laughs> I think he gave up right away. Yeah. A camp? What? That's so weird. Yeah. A camp with nothing there. A bunny. Remember when I sniped that one bunny? Like, super easy to get my level 5 agility? Off the horse? I wonder if it's, like, easier to snipe on horseback. Because it didn't seem like there was much drag or anything on that. I lost a bunny though, so we're not going to find out right now. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny to sit on Jenda and do an archery competition. They probably wouldn't allow it. Target practice? Nah, I'm just kidding. Not that kind of guy. Ooh, shit's forest. Another wayfarer. <laughs> I love running those guys over. Ooh. A bunny out in the open. Okay, let's see how easy this is. Nah, it's like the same. I think I just got really lucky. Might even be harder because he's running. Or, I don't know. She's doing bunny stuff. Yeah. Glitching around and whatnot. A shrine. Yep. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Yo. What are you doing? There's people walking in. This guy's got good gear on. From the looks, I'm going to pick his pocket because he looks so rich. Oh, I want to kill him. He's got really cool pants and a noble hood. Oh, my, my van braces clipped through my gloves. It's annoying. I'll just pick his pocket because I'm, I'm a nice guy. Whoa, he almost got us. Give me all your shit, dude. Oh my god, will we get it? Yep, and our pickpocketing went up. Which is cool. We got a new perk available. Yeah. I want to drop that axe because I don't like having those on me. They weigh a ton and they're worth nothing. Mm, very tempting. Yeah. But I'm role playing. I'm not just going to kill for profit unless it's a bandit. 
I don't think our Henry would be that way inclined, necessarily. Unless they got on his bad side, then he definitely killed them. Ooh, got a quest up here. Camp. With a guy with a quest. Is that a fishing rod? No, it's a big ass pole. What are you doing with that? God save you. What can I do for you? You can give me a quest. Oh, local brawlers. Do you know anything about local brawlers? Why do you ask? I want to fist fight people. I like punch up myself. So I'm keen on meeting like-minded fellows. Then you're in luck. Because I'm in charge of all the fights here. You want to join in right now? Or have you any questions? The priest can wait. I want to fight. I want to join you. I want to fight. Well, if you're as good as you are keen, it'll surely be interesting. But before the two of us start brawling, you have to beat the others. Who are they? And where can I find them? Lads from Ujits. Mash, Maple, and Ma. Uh, Joseph. Okay. Fishy business in Ujits. How does it work? We already know. We have to beat Joseph, Maple, Mash, and then we have to beat the fisherman. And I'm guessing you train in fist fighting. God be with you. You can keep your training though. I don't really need it. I'm pretty good, you know. I've uh busted up a few people in my time. Do I need to eat your food? Kinda. It's free five nourishment. Why am I doing that when we have so much crap to eat? It's gonna go bad. Yeah, 72 already. Our mutton. Oh shit, I just ate way too much. I'm an idiot. God damn it. That sucks. My stats are gonna be degraded and I'm also poisoned from the mutton. Man, I'm dumb. Can't believe I did that. Well, we live and we learn, I guess. I want to wash up there, but I'm already back on the horse. Yeah. Okay, so we have another fist fighting dude yeah. uh, to do quests for, which is nice. I don't know how many of those guys there are in the world. Maybe one in every major city? But what, what counts as a major city, really? I would assume, like, Sassau is a major city, just because of the sheer size of it. Rite, of course. Ujits is kind of big, I guess. What the hell's that? Is that a town? I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to keep asking around. I just have to be mindful of those little activity giver things. I have to make sure to pick them up when I pass by. Another wayfarer. Beautiful countryside here. Hopefully I'm on the right path to Ujits. I think I am. A nest. Fine. And you know what? I may have passed it. Because he was back here. Yeah, I needed to... Oh no, was he? Oh yeah, I passed it by a lot. I need to go southeast. But there's a nest around here somewhere. Where the hell did that thing go? I don't know if I'm gonna find it. That sucks. Wasn't paying enough attention. Oh shit. Okay, well, looks like I'm leaving that one. I don't see it on the compass. Yeah. Do I? No, I don't. I wonder if it was back here and I just like it just loaded in late. No, it didn't. Ujits is over here. Yeah, I can see it. Ooh, another ruined castle thingy. Or wall. Is it an interesting sight? Mm -mm. This one's not. Can we do parkour? Yeah. Horse parkour? Oh, it is an interesting sight. Alright, well, I'll take a peek around just in case there's anything hidden. Maybe a diggy, diggy grave or something? Whoa, I did that thing again. Or like jumped off of something. Is that thistle? No. Alright, there's nothing here. Who the hell are you? Do you need help? No. Do you? Wasn't there a guy down there? Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. There's an alchemy guy here as well, I think. 
maybe we'll check that out. If we're gonna buy anything, we're gonna have to either go find bandits to kill or rob a place and see if we can <laughs> sell it to somebody, I guess. Yeah. Because we have like no coin right now. Why'd you stop? I wanted to hear that. Okay. Do we have the quest marked? Yeah, we do. It's quite far off. We need to go talk to the vicar. He's over there. Oh, I seen a Reddit post a while ago on the Kingdom Come Reddit. And somebody like came to this place in real life. And the similarity is shocking. They did such a good job uh, emulating a real place. Very reminiscent of like, well, it's hard to compare, but GTA did the same thing with LA. Um, or at least I think it was LA. Somewhere in California, wherever the hell GTA is based. But you can see side-by-side -side photos from GTA and real life, and it is shocking how similar it is. You're not the vicar. Your father, Godwin. Godwin's concubine. Cool. I really wish that I didn't miss your quest. I've heard so much about it. Do you have any work for me? May the Lord watch over you. We might still be able to do it. I don't know. Uh oh. Oh no. Vicar's guards. And here's the vicar. <laughs> I like your hairdo. What do you want here, lad? God save, Monsignor. My name's Henry, and I've been sent by Sir Hanish of Lyper. Sir Hanish, hmm? And why is he sending you? I'm to assist you in your search. Oh, I see. How considerate of him. Well, you've come at the right time. I need someone who'll go unnoticed among the locals. I'm sure Sir Hanish told you what I'm doing here. He said you're looking for heretics? Exactly. I'm seeking out the sores that inflict the body of the church. The rash of heretics. Voldensians. Dangerous heretics, one and all. His voice acting is so good. Mm. Who are these Valdensians? I've never heard of them. Uh-oh. Really? Then you've either not been paying attention in church, or the parish priest in Retai is too idle to read out the bishop's missive to the congregation. Um... Both possibilities are equally disturbing, but I'll allow you the benefit of the doubt, and assume it's the latter. But to answer your question, it's a heretical sect. I gathered that much, but what form does the heresy take? Look, boy, I oh, don't God. have time right now to embark on theological disputation. Besides which, it's not something you need concern yourself with. Suffice it to say, they are heretics. Very well, Monsignor. Okay, so we have to pretend like we know stuff and don't ask too many questions. Mm -hmm. How can I help you then? Excellent. Let's get right to the point, Henry. I know how to get to where the heretics congregate. And what's stopping you from going there, sir? That is to say, I know in theory. The crux of the matter is this. We caught a heretic in Kutenberg who told us of the heretics in Ushitz. Regrettably, by the time he got around to describing their meeting place, he was already raving and hardly coherent. I see. So do you know where they meet up, or don't you? Possibly. His account was confused, to say the least. I have a record somewhere here. Can you read, boy? Yeah. Naturally, Father. Otherwise, Sahanish wouldn't have sent me. I see. It's a good thing at least the servants of the nobility are getting a suitable education. Some of their own offspring can hardly write their own names. Here's the record of the interrogation. From what I can make out, his description of the route starts at the local tavern. Once you've found something out, come back and see me. I'll do my best, Father. All right. Heretic's testimony. So they like tortured a guy, got some information, and now we have to try to follow uh, said information, I guess. Do you have any suspects? Mm. I, I don't want to ask questions. I'm scared to because he gets mad easy. Uh, I guess I'll go for that one, though. Are there any suspects? Everyone is a suspect. You can be sure of that. But I'll know more after I finish the interrogations. Didn't get too mad there. How did you conclude there are heretics here? We caught one in Gutenberg. 
He confessed to everything, including meeting up with others in Ushitz a few times. And that was all he told you? By the end, all his strength had left him, so he couldn't even put together a list. Yeah, because you guys tortured the hell out of him. Hmm. They'll get mad over this, but I think it's what we'd say. I'm guessing he didn't speak willingly. Of course not. It's a wonder his strength deserted him in the executioner's clutches. It's a pity. He might have known more. My lad, guard your tongue. It's unwise to question the ways of Mother Church. Heretics are a conquer on the body of the Church. Do you know what's to be done with such an ulcer? You take the hot iron to it and burn it out. It may hurt. It hurt me too to have to cause the man to suffer. But it had to be done for the well-being of the Church. I'll get working on it, sir. God be with you, my son. Well, this guy, he kind of scares me. I almost want to just kill him. Because he seems dangerous. I don't know if that'll fail the quest, though. Be a nice jacket, buddy. Why can't I see your face? Why do you keep, like, obscuring your face? You're not that ugly. Look, this guy's doing it, too. What the hell's going on? Okay, uh, is that marked as my, yeah, let me take that one off. Oh no, actually I'll fight some people while we're going here and doing this. So we need to go to the inn, apparently. Let me wash up. I also need to go to the bathhouse. I think there's one here. Melons right off the vine and beetroot fresh from the field. Is anybody? No. No fist fighting guys over here. Where exactly do I need to be heading for this quest? Oh, I have to read the book, of course. So I'll have a seat. And we'll read what this guy said while he was being tortured by that maniac back there. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, we should be able to read this, right? Yeah, it looks all right to me. Record of the interrogation of the heretic Peter of Hradic. This account was written down by Master Borislav, scribe to the Archbishop, recording the testimony given by the questioned heretic, whereby the interrogation was conducted by the very Reverend Jan of Azek, Monsieur, and vicar to the Archbishop, and the lawful rite of torture was carried out by the town executioner, Francis called Shanks in the town jail, according to the resolution of the town council. At first, the captive heretic, one Peter of Hradic, did refuse to give testimony, whereupon the executioner was instructed to encourage him to do so by the performance of arts. Let it be stated that the interrogation Peter of Hradic did not, or did long resist the executioner's persuasions. Oh. Let it be stated that the interrogated Peter of Hradic did long resist the executioner's persuasions. Sorry. However, he did finally respond to a query as to the place now of assembly. Like Do you mind? I'm trying to read here. Of the other heretics known to him. That they did meet in the town of Ujits. When the vicar then asked the prisoner to elaborate, that is, who they were and in what house they assembled, Peter of Hradic again fell into silence. The executioner again or was again obligated to exercise his persuasive art, which in due course the vicar ordered him to desist, for the prisoner was greatly fatigued, whereupon he did suddenly find his voice, and began to respond at length to the repeated query as to where he met with the other heretics. The vicar thereupon decreed that the testimony of the prisoner be written down verbatim. May the Lord forgive me for hearing these heretical speeches, which by my duty to the Holy Mother Church I am bound to set down. In writing this day, thus spoke the heretic, I began my pilgrimage in Ujits, a den of iniquity, 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 where the people were drinking and fornicating. Oh, this is the, these are the directions. So he began his pilgrimage in Ujits at the inn where the people were drinking and fornicating. So I left that corrupt place at once. And at once I saw another abomination, the Temple of the Bride of the Antichrist. What? With the proud 
Babylonian tower. I went past it quickly towards the rising sun. Uh, so that would be east of the tower. When I left the village, I came upon a crossroads and didn't know which way to go. So I fell on my knees and prayed. My prayer was heard for the finger of Christ rose from the ground to show the right path. On I went through the sinful land and suddenly I heard the sound of a thousand headed crowd at work and I saw their queen and their towers. I journeyed further on and all at once there rose from the ground the jaws of the behemoth and his broken teeth jutted up to the heavens like the tombstones of the Moabites. So I went through the mouth of the beast and by the road I saw the abode of the Apostle Peter and Andrew. I was hungry, so I took the fruits of their labors and filled my belly. Then I left their house and saw two widow widows weeping and kneeing, keening, sorry. I wept with them and they let me sleep in their shadow. I went further along the edge of the world and saw the ribs of the great Leviathan washed up by the sea. Then I saw two bridges over the river Jordan and the devil tempted me and tried to lure me to one of the right, to the one on the right. But I saw through his deception and went against his will. And then I finally saw it, the gateway to the garden of paradise, abundant with foliage. It was guarded by men of straw, but they saw I was a good Christian and let me enter therein. Oh my God, this is so long. That's the last page though. Ugh. These were the last words uttered by the heretic Peter of Hradic. For he did not, for he did then breathe his last. The vicar did then state that his death was surely the work of Lucifer to silence his tongue before the ears of the servants of God. The executioner thereupon took umbrage and made conceited objections, for which his wage was cut by three groschen, and he was admonished not to repeat such remarks, especially in the presence of a servant of Holy Mother Church, of a Holy Mother Church, of the Holy Mother Church. The body of the heretic was buried outside the cemetery while as befits so that it should not corrupt hollowed ground. Thereby, the case of the heretic Peter Ephratic was brought to a close in accordance with ecclesiastical law. Ecclesiastical, ecclesiastical law? Christ, that was hard to read, you guys. Uh, hopefully that came out all right. <laughs> if it didn't... Then I'll have to like do it in post or something. It was kind of weird to read though. Uh, much with like many biblical things, it's it's always written in a Come super right weird up. way. Fresh cabbage, carrots, Shut onions, up about your cabbage. Radishes. So we have like a bunch of weird landmarks that this guy stated in that journal. I'm gonna have to refer back to that so much to find this. I'm guessing.